Okay, I got this pool all empty now, and we had a little bit of rain, so filled it back up, had to re-pump uh, some more of the water out, but we got it all empty. Now we're gonna begin the prepping process. I got some paint that's, previous pool paint that's been peeling on here, so we're gonna be scraping it with a five-in-one, get all that loose stuff off, and get this whole thing all cleaned up. There's some leaves debris in here. Make sure it's really clean. We're gonna wipe it down with rags and stuff, shop vac it, and get it clean, ready for our pool paint. And our pool paint that we're gonna be using is a chlorinated rubber paint that's gonna melt right back into this previous chlorinated rubber paint so we don't have to do any sanding to the pool at all. It'll just melt right back in so it's a real convenient product to use. But make sure you're using the right product when you're actually painting your pool. This pool was painted previously with a chlorinated rubber paint and so we're gonna use another chlorinated rubber paint. I got multiple co colors that we're actually gonna be painting this pool. If you could be a bug for one day, <laughs> what kind of bug would you be and what would you do? A bee. That's good. Just eat honey. Make honey. Yeah. Eat honey. So I'm out here working, still prepping this pool. I'm gonna show you this pool product. We got Insulex pool paint, and this is a chlorinated rubber pool paint. And my pool right now has been painted previously with a chlorinated rubber paint. You wanna make sure when you paint your pool that you gotta have the proper coating to go over what's there now. So if your pool is not painted with a chlorinated rubber, painted with like an epoxy based paint or something else or water based paint, you need to determine what's there so you get the proper coating to go over the top of it so you don't have any adhesion issues. I've got a chlorinated rubber pool, gonna be painting it with chlorinated rubber again and the chlorinated rubber is a solvent based product that actually melts into the previous coating so I don't have to do a whole lot of prep work. I don't need to sand the pool. That's one thing nice about chlorinated rubber. It just melts into the previous coating so it's really simple to use. Just gonna roll it right on and it comes in a multitude of different colors there's different blues whites black red and it's pretty cool I'm gonna be doing this pool about three different colors so stay tuned when you put the pool paint on you got to let it set for seven days to dry and cure before you can actually fill the pool up for water make sure that you adhere to that you got to actually have a fan blown on it to get rid of the um, the chemicals and as it evaporates the chemicals will actually settle down into the bottom of the pool and it'll slow down the cure rate of the the actual product so it'll take longer than seven days of cure if you don't get some forced air going through here and dry and help and dissipate the fumes from the product so it's Insulex chlorinated rubber pool paint is that what we'll be applying I'm down here in the bottom of this pool working on I've got all these bubbles and stuff scraped out of the side of this pool and quite a few years back this pool was actually painted with the wrong product over the side walls which the side walls were fiberglass somebody put the wrong product over there didn't bond very well so every time I come back to paint this pool every three years three to four years it's got some bubbling and stuff so I got to scrape it with a five-in-one get it loose and and that's the easy quick fix uh, trying to get it off the side walls sandblasting it or using um, uh, walnut blasting would be ideal but it's really really expensive so we're not going to go to that extent we're just scraping off the loose stuff and repainting it over with the chlorinated rubber so i'm just going along now and just vacuuming the pool with the shop vac and vacuuming down here at the bottom get any of this excess water out and get it all clean ready to paint
Okay, I'm gonna begin this painting process right now of the pool. I'm gonna be using my chlorinated rubber to paint with. And this is a, a solvent-based product. It's uh, based with xylene and stuff. But I'm not gonna attempt to try to clean up the, the rollers or the brushes. So I'm just gonna be using cheap throwaway brushes. I'm just using old exterior brushes that we have in our vans that we typically use as duster brushes. So I'll just be using those and just chuck them. I'm gonna be using some old four inch naps and some old or nine inch roller naps with three eighths inch, nine inch rollers and four inch rollers, three eighths inch nap. And so I'm gonna begin this rolling process. My bucket's got a um, two gallon bucket right here. I'm also gonna be rolling out of a five gallon bucket with my nine inch roller, four inch roller out of my two gallon bucket. So here we go. So I'm gonna be starting along here i'm gonna be working from top to bottom i'm gonna do my top uh, cut ends right along the edge of the pool deck and i'm gonna work out of their little step there so i can walk along the edge of the pool and do this um about this two and a half foot section along the top of the pool i'm gonna work right around this and then once i get that done then i'm gonna start from the bottom of the pool and work my way out So just a quick tip when you're actually painting with this chlorinated rubber, it, it's a very thin product and it actually dries extremely fast, but it runs really easy. So when you're actually brushing it, brush it on just a really thin coat and continue to watch right behind you if it runs. If it runs, you can just brush out those runs really quick. But if you give it like 30 seconds or so and it's warm outside, if you try to go back and, and brush those runs out, it's gonna be coagulating really fast and it's gonna leave, it's gonna get really globby and leave really heavy brush strokes. So just a nice thin coat is all you need. Now I'm gonna begin working around these steps because my steps are gonna be a different color than the rest of the pool. So I'm gonna cut in around the steps and continue working in my sidewalls. I'm working right along, doing my cut ins on my sidewalls, and I'm just gonna roll my sidewalls now with a nine inch roller, three eighths inch nap, fill it in. So I got this pool all rolled now, the one color. It's a roy the color is royal blue, and I'm gonna be working on the steps now. The steps are gonna be painted ocean blue, a different color. So I'm gonna start working on those now. So now I got the steps all painted a different color now. The pool's all painted. It took me about a total of four hours by myself to roll this entire pool and do the steps the second color. I got another color black that I'm 
might uh, think about doing a sun or some type of decoration on the bottom of the pool and I'm trying to come up with a dot design for that. That's one of the cool things about being able to use pool paints and different types of colors so you can put any type of design you want inside the pool. So I'm thinking about that and we're going to continue on with that project here in just a minute. So once this project is all complete and all painted, I've got to wait seven days for it to cure and before I actually start putting water back into the pool and then we'll start filling it back up and see how she looks. Okay, we got the pool all done now. So stay tuned because we're going to actually be doing the concrete deck now. We're going to be staining it with a solid color concrete stain and we'll be doing the pool slide with a high gloss all surface